Before we discuss how to help these women with endometriosis achieve a pregnancy, we first understand how we diagnose endometriosis. Classically, the diagnosis of endometriosis is through laparoscopy, where we put a scope through the umbilicus of the woman, check for these deposits in the pelvis, and then confirm that she has endometriosis. But nowadays, because we have the access to ultrasound machines, we do not always depend on the laparoscopic diagnosis to establish endometriosis. Sometimes we suspect endometriosis on ultrasound findings and go ahead. So what do we do? Typically, a woman suffering from endometriosis would always complain of painful menstrual cycles, pain during sex, and difficulty in passing motions during menses or before and after menses. These are classical symptoms. They may or may not be present, but they are mostly present in our women. When we do an ultrasound for these women, we tend to see that the ovaries and the uterus are adhered to each other, meaning at least one of the ovaries is sticking to the back of the uterus. Sometimes we are able to pick up a, a cyst in one of the ovaries which has low echoes, which suggests that there is blood collection around. Sometimes we see some blood collection in the pelvis, which alerts us to the fact that it could be endometriosis. But largely it is a diagnosis based on the symptoms given to us by our women. Very often when we check, their prolactin levels are high, their ESR levels are high. And yes, when we do a laparoscopy, we are very sensitive to try and detect little, little deposits of these blood, blood, blood cells or endometriosis cells in the pelvis. So this is how we establish endometriosis in most of our women. The reason why we need to establish endometriosis is because then we can go for an algorithm of treatment which has been derived by a lot of doctors going through a lot of these patients and their treatment procedures. So now we have sort of a consensus which is what I am going to share with you now. See as we have understood in endometriosis there could be grades. There could be very minimal or mild endometriosis where little amount of blood is collected or deposited on the surface of the uterus or in the ovaries but largely the pelvis is alright. Or there could be the other extreme where blood is collected and frozen everything like an ice cream. There is nothing that can be seen separately. The ovary, the uterus, the tubes are all stuck to each other and nothing can be moved. So you could have all kinds of situations in between. A very mild kind of an endometriosis or a very severe kind of endometriosis. First thing that we need to understand is the severest of endometriosis can conceive naturally and the mildest of endometriosis may find it very difficult to get pregnant even with an IVF. Once this is clear to us, let us now understand the protocol of managing women with endometriosis also requiring help for pregnancies.